What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a simple YouTube setup. So I recently got this nice wooden desk off of Amazon and I thought, you know, this could be a pretty good video idea. I'm sure a lot of people think you need a lot of money for a YouTube setup and you really don't. You can save on a lot of stuff and I will be walking you through. But to start off, you're going to need a desk. That's a given. You could do a standing desk. You would not need a chair, obviously. But I actually went with this simple wooden desk from Amazon it shipped like next day. It was about $90 or so. I know they're changing the price depending on how long it is. I went with the 55 inch, but now that I got it, realizing it's a little bit long. So you can actually do with something smaller than 55 and the smaller ones were going for about $80 or so. I will be linking this down so you guys can check that out. And if you already own a desk, don't sweat it. That's all you need. All you need is the desk. It just makes it so much easier for when you're doing product reviews. And that's the whole reason why I got this so I can get a nice overhead shot. For a backdrop, you can actually go ahead and buy a full setup, get the roll of color that you'd like for your own YouTube YouTube setup but it does take a lot of space the rolls are pretty big and it is an extra purchase that you have to make I would highly recommend that you just get some either cheap shelves or some nice artwork that you can lay down on the background as you can see I have this huge print that I did a couple years back and I have this light that's turned on I thought it looked kind of cool I do plan on putting maybe a bookshelf in the future or something but this is just starting off I think this is pretty good. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're planning on getting a standing up desk, do not need to worry about where you're going to sit down and that is a plus. But if you do plan on sitting down, make sure you buy the right size stool. So I already had a stool, but with the desk that I purchased, it is way too tall. Let me show you. So this is not the angle that I wanted on my videos because now if I adjust the camera to my face, now I don't have the table in this frame. This looks more normal. So I bought this tool off of Amazon. This is a 28 inch. This is an 18 inch stool and this goes perfect with the normal regular size desk. Now let's talk about lights. For my setup, I have the two newer 660 LED lights and this cost about $177 for both or so. And I also bought a diffuser for one of these that came with the grid as well for $50. So that, this is my main light. This is like my favorite light so far. It's cheap, affordable, it's soft, and they both come with the cables to hook them up straight to the power so you don't have to worry about batteries. Now, do you need this? You do not need this. You can totally get away with the window, but you will be shooting during the daylight hours or whenever the sunlight goes into your bedroom per se. So be aware of that. And again, you don't, don't need these freaking lights. They, they make it look nice, but again, the window is your best friend. The beautiful light that comes from there is already soft and it can really help you save money. Now, if you guys want to check this out, I will be linking these down below. It is an affiliate link, so if you purchase from there, I do appreciate it. You're helping out the channel without costing anything to you. Now, my background light. So I actually got this accidentally. I did not purchase it. I had bought a gimbal and they sent me this on accident. And this is a per gear LED light. It's a very cheap, affordable light. Nothing special about it. I actually had the batteries. I purchased these for a monitor and to have them ready for my 660 LED lights in case I took them on, on site somewhere else and I needed some battery power. That's why I got these. These are a little bit more. Again, this is not necessary. You can create some nice blue light with any lamp that you might have laying around. And just like I showed you here, you can make it look pretty nice. Now for the setup that I had with the blue light filling up in the background was just this little blue piece of cable cover covering the light. And that's my blue light right here. Those blue pieces of papers are actual part of a big table cover that they sell on the dollar stores. I actually made a video about that, so I'll be linking it right here. Cost you only a dollar. You can cut them up and put them in front of any light source and it will change the color. Now, we could get into the whole talk about mics, cameras, lenses, and all this stuff, but 
that there is so many things out there that you guys can go for you guys probably already have some gear you guys could use your phones there's too many options on that and i think we should just leave that for another video leave this video for only a youtube setup i will mention i am filming on the sony a64 with the sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 and i have a rode video mic up here on a stand connected all the way to my camera so that's how i do it i have the mic really close literally it's literally right there so that's why i use a cable because my camera is down here like right there helps me get a closer audio to me makes it sound much better so if you guys like this video don't forget to like it subscribe to the channel for future content and if you guys would like to learn anything else have some questions about this whole setup feel free to ask anything down there in the comments i'll make sure to answer and try to help you guys out that's all i have for today guys and i'll see you on the next video